<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another Doom's Dark Side video. We're doing Snowdonia by Tony Boydell. Uh, it's a worker placement game. Uh, we're building a railway line all the way around Snowdonia to the summit, which is in <laughs> Iwada. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, my pronunciation is perfect. <laughs> Yo, Widfa. <laughs> uh, what what's happening is we got these workers, these real cool little meat figures. They don't actually come with a game. This is Ashen's game, and he's got the promo figures from Board Game Geek Store. Thanks, to Jason. Cheers, dude. Uh, what we do is we start off with two of these workers, and we're going to be placing them down on spaces market on these cards over here. That's action on, cards. Action cards. Where, obviously, where you are in the turn sequence denotes how far first or second or third as you go along the, the sequences. Once everyone's placed their workers, you then take the actions appropriate from A going this way across. And once you've then taken your actions, we're clearing away d dirt and building railway lines and fixing the rail stations all the way around and gaining extra trains to give us extra abilities, doing contract work, the weather plays a role, which is over here, and it's just getting victory points until we reach the summit. What we'll do is, halfway through the game, we'll when, a, when we know what's happening, yeah, we'll do a turn sequence and then you can see how the game progresses through and how well we're doing, uh, which of course I'll be doing the best. Mm. <laughs> For info, Jason's here. <laughs> <laughs> Little D's here, Ashen's here, and I am too. But that's not important. Because <laughs> he's been a shoddy host. <laughs> right, that's Snowdonia. Let's do it. Okay, so we've gone through a few few turns already, and uh, this is where we're at at the moment. The, s the rubble is only two left over here. Uh, once the rubble is cleared, the rubble clearing card gets removed and then replaced with basically another one of these. But obviously it'll be early in the turn. And it's a worse one as well, it's only got one action space. Drop. Have you seen that over there? There we go. That's that one. Um, Event-wise, so far we've gone up to event 6 where you had to pay for your trains. Um, as you can see, the, uh, these things symbolise once the next event goes there, 4, 5 and 6 will go back into the bag. Uh, the weather's been pretty good. We've had sun come up. Lovely. Yeah. I, I don't know who's going to win, but we've all got a tan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, we haven't actually built very much though, have we? No. This is the We've actually only built the rails. Two rails. And some of that was automatic, as you can see from the events. So we've got event number three. That's one, and then the seventh one. So two more are going to get built. So yeah, we haven't built very much. Green built that one there. Purple built that one there. Uh, but that's some, it. Of the, some of the stations have some stuff built on already. And we've all got a train except D. Yeah, and I've decided not to buy a train to see how different it will be, really. So uh, we started the turn anyway. We've refreshed the bank of resources yep. uh, and the cards here. And now we're at the point of do people that have trains, so that's everyone body, do they want to pay a coal to get their extra worker from the pub for a turn? And uh, there's my coal here, so I'm going to pay mine. Ash, do you want to do yours? I will, yep. I don't have any calls, so I can't. Nah, so, I'll have my worker. Right, and I've got Le Train, so I'm first player. So I'm going to I'm going to go on position one of the A yep. box. Thank you very okay. much. And then play passes to my left. I'm going to go there. D. I'm going there. I'm you're gonna go there. You son of a <laughs> Indeed. My headset was exactly I'm gonna go <clears throat> the C spot please, Ash. Thank you. I will also go to the C spot. Son of a <laughs> <laughs> It's gone well. <laughs> we all planned our turn before this filming and as you can see it's Va all... vaguely, <laughs> vaguely. It's all changed. <laughs> Take a second to just readjust my plan. Isn't it funny how whenever we film a turn, it, when it gets to D's turn, it always takes for ages. At least, no, he's not, no. <laughs> at least that's, that's not really funny. <laughs> at least he's not declared that he's going to win this turn. I can't win this turn. <laughs> I should put a link into Civ game. <laughs> yeah. Check out the Civ game. D's faux pas. 
Yeah, this is going on a so he he's gonna be essentially digging to uncover that last bit of dirt down there. And gaining himself three VP. I, I made a mistake. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go on the rail D please. D He doesn't have any workers left. And neither do I. So it's Ashen's last one. Well then As you can see, it goes pretty easily, just yeah. flesh your stuff down. It's also interesting, only me and Martin have moved our surveyors up once. That's, that's no, me and that's, you. That's oh, it's the me and you. I'm <laughs> yellow, as always. That's every single game we ever play. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to... It's only games that you, we've recorded where you're not yellow. Because it's not available? Or? I don't think so. Go. I get rid of games that don't have green in there. <laughs> no, I'm going to go... So, any publishers out there, if you don't have green, I'm not buying your game. <laughs> well, I remember Z-, Z Garcia said yellow in the game is a thing that he looks for. Okay, okay. right. So now it's essentially our retrieve action. So it starts off with A, yep. B first. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take... So because of this symbol here, you get to retrieve three resources. And I can take up to one coal. So this one on the right-hand side shows one... Of anything. I, think I am going to take a coal, I'm also going to take a stone and an iron ore. And that go to my pool down here, get my dude back. How are you doing, Blue? Um, definitely taking two of those. I think I'll take another one of these. I am going to take all four of these orange. The reason I can take orange, four, is because I've got the number three Widita. <laughs> so he's got, he's got this, don't butcher them. this train what here. A <laughs> what a fire! What a fire! So this uh, symbol at the top here means he can take an extra icon. He's still limited to one car, as we uh, found out. But right. So anyway, so now A's finished. Uh, no one was in position four there, so first play didn't change hands. I'm most happy about. So now D goes on to dig. So, digging equals. When you do an action, yeah. How many builds can you do? Yep. Digging what equals the number up here, so the spades are three, so I dig three bits of dirt. Mm-hmm. There's only two left, so because that's now complete and I'm pressing it, does it. You feel that's basically one of my cubes. Which means it's worth that's worth three victory points for me exactly at the end that. of the game. And presumably that will now all change. Immediately change? Well, well I suppose it matters. Uh, B. Yeah, yeah it's now. It makes no difference. We're, we're going to change it anyway. Turn anyway so. Right, so now my um, cashing in resource thing. So I'm going to do three. Six, I'm going to do six iron ore. Basically, this one here means I can do that three times. So I'm cashing in six iron ore for two steel bars or ingots, whatever they are, and two dirt. So there we go, there's my stuff. And I'll have one stone and two of these. Thank you. There is your stone flows. And it's back no, into it the bag. It's okay, now it's ashes. Okay. Bizarrely enough, I am going to do Not virtually the same. Exactly the same. Right? Okay, now it's my buildy raily thingy. <laughs> buildy raily thingy. Which is interesting. Um, so I, I can now build two, is that correct? Going by the yes, rest yes. down there. Well, I sort of think I may as well. I've got, was I saving that steel for anything? I don't know. I Were don't, saving that steel for you don't have to pay don't for your, think so. You don't have to pay for your trains anymore. He's looking despair. I, so I'm going to spend, I where the camera was looking I'm gonna spend my two. And can you flip over those two there, please? And there's my two marker cubes. Go on them. Yeah, and I'll have my piece back, please. You can go back to the pub. It's back there. You don't get to keep your third worker. He is. He's a local. Um, All right. I'm going going to do that. That. Possibly a subpar move. He goes back to the pub as well. Okay. Purple building. So now it's building or buying a train. The train's left the down here. There's one over there as well. Oh, I don't have any steel bars left to buy trains. Okay, so it's all building then. It's all building. And I am going to build... Four. That one. 
I'll put it on in a second, okay? Nine victory <laughs> points. Um, I can see that very well. <laughs> Whoa, Claire! <laughs> Isn't it a bit? There you go, There we go, that's that. So the first, the top one there was uncovered when the dirt was taken off, and who, whoever it was scored that. No, Nobody does. Yeah, it was got, the board which did it. Exactly. So the bottom one requires four stone, gives him nine EP. It's just a deed down here as well. Okay, mine. I don't have any steel girders there, but I'm going to use my special ability. It's a once off use for the card, so you tap it to show you've used it. To spend three iron. Instead of a steel. Steel. So, ash, so I can go back in there. Yep. And I'm just going to build that there. Seven victory points. Good stuff. Um, that's all the workers. <clears throat> So uh, I think that's a turn. Yeah. So essentially what's going to happen is now uh, this card's going to go into discard pile. These will come round. In fact, let's do this, yeah. So that, ah, interesting. So the weather will move on, and this marks future weather. So there's fog on the horizon. So we've got sun this turn, rain next turn, and then fog, which is no digging or building, I think, uh, the turn after, yeah, as you can see here. Uh, that's it. And then we do this, and that's it. Yeah. Right. So we've finished our game. Uh, we've tallied up the points. Uh, obviously, the drain track came to. What's that? It's <laughs> <laughs> good. What a fun! <laughs> we don't know how it's pronounced. No. The summit. Uh, once, once the train reaches there, you finish off your turn and then calculate your calculate your points. Uh, the game last was 64, and D came third, 68. And I was next with 73, I think. And, and Ash and with a whopping 88. It's his game though. Yeah. <laughs> we thought we'd let him win. Oh, cheers, guys. I'm not me, damn you. I can win on my own re reconnaissance. Well, there you go. That, so, was, that was it. So, some final thoughts on Jason. What do you think? Yeah, I thought it was alright. Um, I didn't think it was that great. but you finished last act. <laughs> but it was a lot of, lot of things going on. Uh, you have to really think about it. I was just saying to Dino before the camera started, me and him, he didn't have a train at all, so he didn't get any extra workers. Um, I got a train first, but I couldn't get any coal. So therefore, I was struggling to get extra workers. To be fair, you did have plenty of opportunity to get coal, but you didn't seem to take it. You always seemed to take loads of other... Because you could take four resources. Uh, that's what, I was always going last in turn. And oh, I, never, I see. The coal was always gone. Yeah, the coal was always gone. I mean, even sometimes D would take the coal just to stop me from getting yeah, the coal. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I did. I took coal because I wasn't using anything to get extra workers myself. If I take the coal myself, it stops other people from getting it to buy additional workers. Yeah, which so. is a valid t t tactic. Um, Although you came last and second from last, so <laughs> perhaps it wasn't a valid tactic. Uh, but yes, I, I think that was that was quite that was quite important. I mean, the extra workers obviously give you the ample chance to get the the extra things you need to move along the well, track. You guys and did kind of hit me quite hard for two turns where I didn't get a single build action. But otherwise, yeah, I thought it was good. I think the mechanics were cool. I think the components are fine. Um, I think the decisions are good to be made. There's lots of ways of getting points, and the tactics or strategy, rather, should I say, that you use to find your victory points is pretty good. Yeah. I thought it was actually a lot quicker than I was expecting it. Yeah, it, was... it seemed to these kind of middle actions here, when they when they kick off, it it sped these things up down the side. I mean. The, the dirt that was uh, cleared off them really quickly early yeah. on was like, I was looking at, because I had something that required like eight dirt, I think, and I was looking at thinking, I'm going to struggle to get this. It was it was much quicker. It's probably what, I mean, we didn't really know what we were doing, and we stopped for food midway, but uh, I reckon that's an hour and a half game tops, really. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, what was quite funny on the last turn, uh, Ash signaled his intent by ending the game by going there. So all of us went in there because we had no uh, more resources. In my defence, that's what I planned to do anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, because you get these, um, you go on those things and you get like a surveyor that kind of goes round to these stations. And the further you go round, the more points it's worth. So I, I think I got to that one. The most you can get is that 21 there. Yeah. Which is, uh, you know, a decent... I mean, if I'd have got that extra seven points... You'd have still beat me, Ash, but it would have. Been, <laughs> <laughs> it would have then been the train that made the difference. Yeah. What did you think, Ash? Did you go? I liked it. S simple, really, as uh, oh, really? The games go, which is always good. So it's easy to teach anyone, I think. And um, yeah, lots of difficult decisions to make. 
and the typical worker placement thing of I want to go there, but I also want to go there. And if I go there, I'll look like, somebody's beating me too. Well, one, I mean, one of the things that was not typical worker placement was the fact that you only really get two workers a turn, and that was harsh because there's lots of things you want to do, and uh, you just don't have the scope to do them at all. That's one of the reasons I made sure I had coal every turn so I could activate my train, so I could actually get a third worker. I thought these were quite severe, like in terms of. You know, closing up the fact that... A nice the idea of that is that speeds up the game. Yeah, yeah, it's a clever idea, I think. I quite like it. I think uh, without that, so the game would have lasted... Another hour, minimally. Because yeah. we built yeah, virtually we wouldn't, nothing. We wouldn't have... Un, we wouldn't have I think the weather was... The staff wouldn't have I think the weather was quite kind to us as well, because we had almost like a real season. Yeah, it was basically, we went through summer, and now we've just hit autumn, basically, where it's yeah. pissing down the rain constantly. So, anything to add, D? Uh, I just want to say, like, how close the points were at the end. So at one point during the game, I was saying that I think little tiny points here and there would make a massive difference. Yeah. And even though we say, like, me and Jason came third and fourth and the fact we had... Still work, close, though, yeah. The fact yeah. that I was only five points different to second place. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was only four points behind you. Yeah, so, you know... And I was I only 15 be Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's... Actually, to be fair, if you remove the nine-point train from the equation, it's actually a lot closer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just think it was uh, a good rounded game. Um, I, I, I enjoyed the tactic that I used, even though, like we said, I came third and wasn't much difference. You had a lot of resources. You had a lot of resources left as well, yeah, didn't you? I, I think there was, and the fact that I, I ignored the train. Was it like you were doing denial rather than? No, yeah, definitely. I also did no building of the train lines as well. Um, so it's just a case of I will build on top ah, of train stations okay, and I will uncover. And that was my plan. I've only got two workers. One that. of them's going to go and build on train stations. Well, I mean, just look, look at that card there. For two um, steel bars or whatever they are, you get 14 points for that. See, or think... for two, you can, with this action, you can uncover two cards. You're never going to get 14 points for that. Well, so it's actually probably more efficient to do that. I th D did have this card at the time, card, though, yeah. which... Because it could it could have been, but I have to have built two yeah. railway lines yeah. two of the railway lines to do it and then I realised at that point that because I, I thought it was you just have to have two railways two like spare to two, on top two of steel like, you actually have to have built yeah. two so I went well my game plan is not around doing that at all so then I went well I'll forget that for, for one potential point less but that's banked yeah definitely yeah, yeah. well that was banked as well it wasn't, it wasn't banked because there's no guarantee that I was going to build the railway lines because there's limited space well that was I've got my two right now it's done no, I, I agree with you I, th I think at, certainly at the time you did it as well it's definitely the right move ah. I think this is because of how close it is this action in the corner I think that's actually quite important um, because like, you know, one one or two spaces can make a massive difference. Yeah, when, yeah. when you start getting around here, jumping up from, I got four points there, so two moves up would have got me 15 points. Yeah, it's a big jump. That would put me second if I'd have done two actions elsewhere. So. Does it? Yeah, I, like, I like the overall feel of the game. Does it make you want to play Tony Boydell's other game, uh, Ivor the Engine? I know nothing about that game. All I know is there's a lot of sheep on the board. Yeah. <laughs> See, uh, Jason's foreign, so he doesn't really uh, know over the engine. And I'm, <laughs> I'm old, so I remember it. And it was awful. <laughs> well, should we do a quick verdict? Uh, yeah, go ahead. You can start him. Yeah, I thought it was right. I'll give it a thumbs up. We have realised that we have our friend. Yeah, I'll do a thumb, definitely. I thought it was good. Yeah. Um, nice solid worker placement game. It's not something I'd rush to play again, I don't think, because it's not. I don't feel it's different enough from many other work questions I was really but it was it was definitely solid there was nothing wrong with it yeah, certainly as, as a group we've had a lot of work placement games yeah well we've had a lot of games in general really like, there's been a lot of work placement recently due to one reason or another um, and I just, <laughs> um, and I, just, I just think this one out of a lot of the other ones that I've played there's other ones which are definitely more enticing and make you want to play multiple yeah, times yeah. I think uh, we could say we're glad Ashen Water did not really <laughs> I mean, I mean, I take nothing away from it though. I no. thought it was good. I thought it was a solid yeah, game. Certainly, got well. some interesting stuff. I really like that that kind of almost time track mechanic in there. No, um, yeah, that 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 sort of middle event line thing. It was really good. It added a nice pace into the game, and the fact that they randomly come out as well means that sometimes it can happen very quickly, and yeah, other, other times just gradually. When you thought yeah. they were going to come out, and you'd kind of plan your turn, and you're expecting it. Yeah, the, nothing the, happened. The fact, the fact that I think Lightning is very, very unlikely, but you could, on the very first turn of the game, or the very first draw, you could draw five action cubes. 
Potentially, and, yeah. And, and that could make the game go super quick. Yeah, really. Also, I think one other thing I like, and I always look for in worker placement games, is there's variant options to gain picture points. It's not always a set way, like, oh, this is what I have to do to get yeah, that. Definitely. Yeah. You know? I know there was, there was one game, I can't remember what it was, but it was a work placement game, but there was very limited options on how to get picture points. Yeah. So everyone would be going towards the same thing. I think it might have been, like, I think it might have been Dungeon Pets, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah, that probably. one's only very limited, so where you can get actions. Limited spaces you yeah. can go as well. well. This one had loads of options. Lots of different options, and even though you three were using the trains to have extra workers, I don't feel at any time, well, not, not very often, was there, was there sort of like a battle. To no. try and rush I mean, to be honest, space. there was only a few occasions when someone went on a space that I actually wanted to go on, yeah. which I, th I thought was quite weird. Yeah, Considering was, how few spaces there actually are, I mean, there really yeah. isn't that many. I don't know if we've only got limited workers, but... There's def definitely a case of, if somebody takes it, it's not the end of the world, I can make use of another space, rather than just saying, I need that space. Yeah, no, that was good. Agreed. Right, shall we move on to the next game? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, uh, four, four thumbs up for uh, Snowdonia. Snowdonia. 